All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for watching today. If you don't mind, hit that like and sus subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. Um, today, everything you need to go dove hunting will be in this video. So if you're a beginner, this is probably a great video for you to watch. If you dove hunted all your life, you're probably like, ah, I might just skip out of this. Or you might see something in here that um, you're like, hey, that's cool, I need that. So uh, before we wait any longer, let's jump right into it. Okay guys, number one, what do you need to dove hunt? A license, hunting license from your state, permission from the landowner, two of the most important things. Uh, if you're in a state that you have to have a hunter's education class or card, check on that. Uh, some states will allow you to hunt without a hunter's education card as long as you have a, um, it's a certain type of hunting license that basically says you will be with somebody on that. All right, the second thing you need to go dove hunting, a gun and shotgun shells. Here, I have a Yield Ease double barrel 20 gauge from Academy. I believe it's a 26 inch with uh, extended chokes. This gun is the, um, like I said, the Yield Ease Legacy, $4.99. Not a bad price. The gun shoots really well. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, it has some engraving on it. It's a um, quail pattern. It's a really nice gun, really good shooting gun. Um, I have shot this gun a couple years and I really enjoy it and I always try to take two guns to the field with me in case one, you know, something happens to it, malfunction. This is also a 20 gauge um, ATI American Technical. I believe this is a, oh, both of these are three inch chambers on these 20 gauges and I believe this is a 24 inch. The, tube, the tubes are screw-in chokes. Sorry, I said that wrong. The chokes are screw-in. So um, I shoot in, improved cylinder and modified and both these, so they shoot about the same. Both these guns, you can select the trigger. Um, I'm sorry, you can select the barrel, either top or bottom, and um, single trigger, safety on the back at your thumb. Both of these in the same price range, $499, $500. Ooh, and I'm sweating really bad. Shotgun shells. I have a box of Rio and a box of Monarchs. These Monarchs and I believe these Rios you can get at Academy. So both these items you can purchase at Academy. Um, seems like the Monarchs are $9.99 a box. If you buy a case, be a hundred bucks for a case, a case of 10. Um, and these are 1300 feet per second, two and three quarter inch, which that gun, both these guns will shoot two and three quarter and three inch, seven eighths ounce, eight shot, high brass. Third thing you need to go home, in my opinion, ear protection. You have these that slip on, these that go in the ear. I prefer these, they are, they are bulkier, but they do tend to, um, cut out more of the noise. They make the electronic kind that go in your ear, kind of like a hearing aid that will cut off sound once it reaches so many decimals. And um, those are really nice. I just haven't sprung for those yet, but I uh, might this season. Um, so hearing protection, eye protection. Uh, number one, you're gonna be out in the middle of a field, possibly. It's always hot. You can see I'm sweating right now. Like I've just jumped out of a pool. Next item on our list, you're out in the field. What do you do with your shells? Well, they make belts that I like to wear. I usually have this one on. Shells are here. You can put your birds in the back. It's simple, easy. Usually I'll put uh, spent shells in one side, shot um, loaded shells in the other. So I, I just, everybody has a routine, right? So boom, boom, you shoot. Breach the gun, the shells eject. I grab two, put them in, 
Then I reach out with my left hand, grab the two spin shells, put them on my left side. That's just my routine. Um, I've got a lot of buddies that like the vest. And this is pretty nice. It's a little bit warmer. So I try to, you know, I'm a big guy, so I'm, uh, I'm trying to stay as cool as I can. But this vest is nice. Shells go here. Birds go in the back. You got room for foam, whatever you need. It's all right here. It is convenient and it is pretty nice. Um, some of them you can even get that has a shooting pad on the shoulders, left or right. It's a little bit warmer than the belt. Next item, decoys. You got your mojos. My mojo's missing a wing. Uh, just happens that way sometimes. It's around here somewhere. We'll find it before season starts. But uh, make sure your batteries are good. This is not a necessity. There's a lot of times I leave the house without them just cause I'm in a hurry or whatever. And um, I, don't, I don't take them, but they do work. I've seen Dove turn and fly right into two or three that's sitting, sitting on the ground spinning or whatever. But um, Mojo's, you can also find them at a cabinet. So go, go check that out. Great, great tool to have. Anything you have, right, to, um, to help your chances. So while we're talking about different items, so we had our, our belt, we had our vest, something to sit on. You're going to be out in the middle of the field. It's 100 degrees. This bucket spins. It is actually an insulated cooler, and you can see I've got shelves in here from last year. You can put drinks down in here, keep them cool. As you can see, I've got some here. It's important to stay cool, hydrated. You don't want to overheat while you're in the dove field by yourself. But um, this is a pretty nice bucket. The Yeti bucket will do the same thing. It has the top on it. Uh, these hold ice pretty well. I'm, I'm gonna, I like the Yeti bucket, don't get me wrong. Yeti sponsor me, send me a bucket, I'll use it. Send me a camo bucket, something. Here's the kicker though, this is what I really like. And this is a buddy of mine. He just, he's let me look at it. You've got this, you've got the cooler, right? Let's see if I can open this without breaking it. Cooler, you can put your birds, you can put shells, whatever you need in it. Probably some drinks. You want a cool refreshment. It spins, so you're gonna be spinning. Birds gonna be coming from all around. It's got room for shells, foam, um, chokes, whatever you need. It's got pockets all around it. Here's what's really nice. You can throw it on your back and help distribute some of that weight. So you're not gonna to have to be caring. Think about it, guys. You're going to have your gun in your hand. You're probably going to have either a belt on or a vest with shells. You've got your cooler with drinks in it. It is nice not to be able to have to carry a heavy cooler all the way across the field if you don't have a Polaris or a golf cart or a buddy to go drop you off. But, um, I will probably have me one of these for this year. This is really nice. Banks Outdoors, give me a shout out. Um, but guys, just looking over everything, um, I think that's about all the items I carry into the dove field with me. Um, you guys have a safe, productive year. Don't shoot at anything head high or below. That's just that's something I do personally. Some people, you know, if you're by yourself, it doesn't matter. Or if there's just two or three of y'all. If you're in a field full of people, don't pepper anybody with shot. Uh, they don't appreciate that. You wouldn't appreciate it if they peppered you with shot. But um, that's all I have today, guys. And um, I will show you guys in just a second what you do with those dove after you kill your limit and you get back to the house. So thanks for watching, like and subscribe. Probably gonna do a um, shotgun review on that Yieldies. 
that's that's been my go-to gun but um like i said thanks for watching i appreciate it y'all have a good one <laughs>